should be able to rip through rock fairly easy. I think we're gonna be able to get through quite a bit today. We are headed to Hendersonville, Tennessee, which is north of Nashville. Uh, we got the new Ultra X3 housing in the back, uh, gonna deliver to Josh uh, with A&S Utilities. He's gonna love it, man, the productivity of it and the ease of swapping out the bits and how quick it is. It's just beefier. It looks, looks more well-built. They've added extra tungsten carbides and added all that hard surfacing on it. It's much easier to use. They've gotten rid of a bunch of the bolts and stuff that used to strip out and come loose. They've put a lot more hard surfacing on there. Best thing to do is put it on and test it out. I think it's pretty aggressive and hopefully we're gonna put her through some rock today and really give it a trial. Oh, we're shooting about 400 foot underneath the road toward another street light trying to pull back and drilling in some gnarly rock. So we run a 2330 Series 3 dirt machine. So our dealer in Nashville brought out the new Ultra X3. It's great, it's super fast and easy to use. You can replace the parts much easier than the old housing and bits. When you're down in hole and you want to replace out bits or put on swivels for pullback instead of putting the old pulling eyes in, it's so much faster. You can almost do it with just one guy in hole if you're down downhill drilling, rotating back and forth. You don't have to fight with a bunch of bolts that used to strip out. So there is a bunch of rock, obviously. This is Tennessee. They've got quite a bit of limestone that you can see from the roads. One of our biggest thing is obviously trying to control our heads in the rock. The wear and tear on it is looking pretty well right now. When we used to run dirt housings and dirt bills but it's hard to keep them uh, attached to your housing in this kind of rock. The Ultra X3 is a perfect fit for him for several reasons. He's able to put a dirt bit on it and drill dirt. He's able to take it off when the ground conditions get too tough and put a gauntlet bit on it, and then able to pull back with a pull hook and or put a reamer on, depending on what bore they're running. The new Ultra X3, we feel very confident in getting to where we need to go. We only use Vermeer tooling. We love the new Ultra X3, and I would recommend it to anybody.